and welcome to the super fun awesome happy time pedal show my name is Kapoor and today I've got a box full of uh, these pedals so this uh, was sent to me by the good folks at K-Line this is the new K-Line G series pedals uh, all 12 of them? Is there more than 12? I'm not 100% sure. Um, there's a few numbers missing. So it's G1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's a few numbers missing. I don't know if there's, or if they're for later release. I'm not sure. But these just arrived and I thought, let's do a quick first look at them uh, and a very quick first impressions. I mean, there's 12 of them, so there's chapter marks for everything. Um, but let's just have a quick look, see what they sound like. Um, very quick first impressions, like, you know, less than a minute each with each pedal. We'll do full videos with all of them eventually. Uh, let us know in the comments below if there's any in particular you want us to do first. Um, yeah, so let's just start. Let's, hang on, let's put it over here. And let's start, I reckon let's do three at a time. I'm gonna start with one, two, and three. Now, one, two, and three are the, hang on, let's do it this way. Ah, here we go, finally, gee. Tiger Eye Distortion, Green Mamba Drive, and Orca Chorus. So let's do those three first and see what they do. So let's stick it. Okay, this one's kind of open already. So let's do it with this camera. Uh, it's facing me. So, do like that. So this is the Orca Chorus. So these are slightly smaller than like a normal size pedal. So I mean, here's a past effects pedal. So this is sort of like MXR style. So it's not a mini pedal, but it's sort of a little bit smaller. Um, looks, I mean, very well made, I gotta say. Let's have a closer look at that. So it's got sort of like a shiny, the graphics are sort of, it's, it looks well made, I've got to say. Um, soft switch, the pots, are, there's a bit of weight to it, so they feel like they're substantial. Uh, so that's the Orca Chorus. Um, so this is my first time I'm actually looking at them. Uh, comes with, ooh, like a whole, ooh, is it like, I guess that makes it sticky. Yeah, that's very nice and sticky, actually. That's good. I mean, it has a, it's like a, like a thing you put phones on to stop them from slipping. Um, with a sticky, I guess, sticky tape bit on the back. Yeah, sticky tape bit on the back. Uh, comes with a little booklet. Introducing the G-Series Small But Mighty Effects Pedals. Are you ready to rock? So is that just a brochure on all of them? Okay, that's a guess. Is that 12? Let's, let's, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah, oh, that's 13. Did I count it right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, I counted it wrong. There is, there's 12. And then now power supplies too. Actually, I have one of those power supplies. I'm using it in my power, on my pedal board at the moment, which is great. Uh, so, Brochure and all of them. Uh, so I guess they'll be in all of them. So let's put that back in here too. Um, oh, and look, there's a cool little... Shark. Shark with sunglasses rocking out. Um, I like the way they look. And I like that it says mini pedal, but I mean, it's not as mini. Do I have any mini pedals? You know what, I don't think I have any mini, actual mini, mini pedals. Um, but like I said, it's a bit bigger than normal, like a TC Electronic mini pedal. Uh, okay, let's open the next one. This one isn't opened yet, so I'm gonna cut it open. Uh, this could be a long video, but I mean, we're all having fun, there's chapter marks. Okay, so this is the Tiger Eye Distortion. So again, it comes wrapped up in plastic. It has that non-slip thing. It has the booklet for the G-Series. Um, and that one looks like that. Uh, 
And lastly, out of the first batch of three, we have the Green Mamba Drive. Now, I'm have, I have a feeling Green Mamba going to be Troop Scrimmage Star Drive. Uh, again, all the same stuff. Um, but I've got to say, I mean, if you've watched the channel for a while, you probably know that we, we are kind of fans of K-Line. Um, these are very, these feel very well built. I'm not sure what the price point is on those. I've got to find out, but they feel very well. They've this, this weight to them. The pots feel really well and the soft, oh no, this one isn't, oh, that's a soft switch, but those two aren't. Um, okay. So how about let's plug those three in first three, and then we'll just do three at a time. So back in a sec. All right, so I'm all plugged in. I've got the first three pedals plugged in. Uh, they have a very blue light that lights up. <clears throat> I'm using my um, Yamaha Revstar uh, RSS-02T in Sunset Burst. Big thank you to the good folks at Yamaha Australia. Uh, that goes via Mostronics M switcher, Andrew, uh, into the Angle um, Ironball SE. It's a killer amp. You can watch a full video on that here. Uh, and then into the Two Notes Torpedo Live uh, with some Celestian IRs. I'll put a picture up what the IRs are. There's also an affiliate link in the uh, description below where uh, if you use that link, you don't have to buy the IRs we're using, but if you use that link to go to Celestian Plus to buy IRs, that helps out the show. Now, uh, direct signal uh, sounds like this. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of grit. Okay, chorus, orca chorus. distortion what do we have it's too bright low ooh, low mid treble volume and gain so low mid treble volume and gain low mids I like that <laughs> distortion the mid uh, low mids is cool I like that uh, all right green mamba what do we have volume drive and tone Uh, 
it is a bit troop screamerish. I guess that's why it's green member. Okay, uh, let's get those off and get the next three. Timberwolf vibrato. Cool with the mix, you can have it fairly subtle. Okay, Timber Wolf, Vibrato, Red Belly, Tremolo. Straightforward terminal. Uh, reverb. What is it? Decay, tone, and mix. With everything in full, that's quite pretty actually. Ooh, that's a pet peeve. No trails. Um, all right, next three. Let's start off with the boost. This is a mode switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven modes. It seems to be getting gradually louder as you go up, like more boost. Frequencies change a bit there as well. I've got to find out what the mode nut does, but I like it. Eagle Eye Boost, Kamiko. It's 
mix, time and repeat. <laughs> It's digital, no. Does it self oscillate? No, it just sits and set on. That's kind of cool. So you can have it sitting on. Just going forever. All right, parrot delay with the red knob. Ah, oh, because that's what the beak is. Ah. It's digital as well. So modulation, no modulation. So this is like a no modulation digital delay. Just really clean digital delay. That's got lovely modulation. That's a bit of a thing. All right, next. <clears throat> all right, so we're all plugged in it again uh, for the last three. So compression, what, the, what have we got in here? Sustain, attack, level, and clipping. So this is on full now. It's a lot of compression there, but it sounds nice. Eh? Kind of hear it, you can get it kind of go. Nah. It seems to be more immediate then, and it seems to be slower as you go down. Not a soft switchy, so it's all the. I guess the digital pedals have the soft switches. Uh, Killer Shark Boost. No, no, we've got Master Tone and Gain. Nasty bear fuzz. Uh, volume tone sustain. Oh, I wonder if it's like a big muffy kind of.
That. Well, that's all 12 of the G-Series pedals. Um, let's quickly get them all together here for a group photo. Okay, will they all fit? I don't think they'll all fit. Um. Uh, can we make them fit? You can maybe fit two rows. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we can fit them all. Well, just, maybe just. Ah, look at that. It has a bit of a sort of a comic book vibe to it. Um, you know, the... The whole look. There you go. That's all 12 of them. Uh, big thank you to the awesome people at K-Line. Like I said at the start, if you're still watching, um, if there's any of those in particular you want us to do first, let us know in the comments below. Uh, we'll do them otherwise in sort of random order or um, whatever sort of tickles our fancies. Hang on, let's go down a bit a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, all up. Um, I'm quite, I've got to say, I'm just the, the feel of them, the feel of the pots, the feel of the knobs, when you plug the things in, the power... Oh, does that illuminate? Oh, look, that... You, I didn't see that before. The power thing. Is that on all of them? Yeah. So as you plug it in... Oh, that one's red. So it illuminates. What does red mean? Does it mean not enough power or something like that? No. Maybe they're just different colours. That's red too. Maybe the digital pedals are red. Ooh. And the analog pedals... Are blue that's a possibility because of delay digital red oh is this that light red too no that light's green blue sorry but that's red so maybe it's yeah maybe it's a digital analog thing i'm not 100 percent sure but um I'll, I'll learn more about them uh work out what they all do uh, big thank you once again to the awesome people at K-Line for sending them all out to us. Um, full videos with each of them coming soon. And check out the, the I'll put the playlist here for all the K-Line stuff we've done in the past. If you've watched this for this long, uh, please make sure to subscribe to the channel too. About 90% of all our viewers are not subscribed. So it always helps out if you do subscribe. Uh, thank you to everyone once again. Big thank you also to Yamaha Australia for sending me this. Big thank you to Jürgen and all the awesome people at Angle for the amp, Andrew for the awesome Astronic Switcher, Guillaume for the amazing two-note stuff. Uh, thank you all and see you in the next one. Bye.